Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So today is part two. If you haven't seen part one, it was yesterday's video, I'll leave it linked down below. But today we are doing another declutter. I declutter every three months, so I don't care of everything in my collection. I just like to narrow it down and make sure I have what I'm really using and what I'm really getting the most use out of because makeup does expire. So I want to keep the good stuff that I'm using in my collection. And today we are doing everything in my collection except for palettes. We did palettes yesterday. So today we're going to go over primers, foundations, blushes, highlighters, eyeliners, everything like that. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so my tripod doesn't get the tall, so this is kind of a hard angle to do, but let's try to do my, this is my brushes, my eye brushes, face brushes are in the Alex store next to me, but this is just eye brushes, a brush cleaner, eye primers, and regular primers, along with a couple foundations and concealers that didn't fit in my foundation drawer down below. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and part ways with the Pretty Fresh. I use this like once. I think I used it in a video, like full face first impressions. Um, the Hyaluronic Primer from ColourPop, the Pretty Fresh. I don't know, it's a it's a nice fragrance, but it's too much fragrance for me, so I'm just going to part ways with it. I haven't touched it. Um, I'm almost out of this, so this is going to be empty soon, so this is going to be out of here, but I'm, I need to buy a replacement because this is such a good primer. It's the hydrating one from Laura Mercier. So good. I just got this, so I'm going to keep trying this. I'm going to go ahead and declutter the VDL Luma Layer Primer. I only used it once for a video testing out Korean beauty products which I thought was so fun and I want to do another one of those videos, but I just have so many primers that I like more like hydrating ones and like a couple illuminating ones, so I don't really need this one. Um, let's see. There's not that much left in this Skin Love from Becca, so I'm going to keep this for now. I'm going to declutter the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, which I thought would be a good shade for me, but it is too dark. Um, it's a good color, but it's too dark for me, so I'm going to figure out what shade this is. Oh, five, I think. I think it's shade five. And I wanted to declutter this. It didn't work for me. Let's see. I'm also going to declutter the W7 concealer. I'm just going to throw this away because it can't be sanitized because it's like a wand. Um, but I am going to declutter this as well. Ooh, I forgot I had this. It's so dark. So I'm going to try to make... Yeah, I'm just going to leave these like a couple concealers and stuff. Like I have these concealers I'm gonna make them work for the drawer with foundations I am going to declutter I don't even know if I use this I don't think I did no I didn't um the concealer full cover concealer for makeup forever because it's just way too dark for me like way too dark for me so I'm gonna part ways with this and I never even used it but I wanted to try it so um these concealers are really nice but they're not like my go-to concealers they're this one's too light this one's too dark but they're good for mixing this concealer is way too dark for me. It's the shade, it looks good online. Seven, oh, 0 0.7 from Makeup Forever. It's just too dark for me. So I'm gonna declutter this, but since I never even like, I only swatched it, I'm gonna see if I can give this to a friend or something who would use it because it's just too dark for me, but I know a lot of people that are similar to that skin tone. Um, let's see, the only concealers I have up here now are like four of them, so that's pretty good. I'm going to declutter the Glow Drops. Um, I think I tried this once. It's a highlighting primer. I got it in a box, like a subscription box. I don't know if any of this has been focused this whole time. I'm so sorry. Got it in a subscription box. Tried it once. Never touched it again, so obviously I don't, I didn't fall in love with it. So I'm going to get rid of that. And now I only have a couple primers, and this one's a makeup brush cleaner, so I only have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only have nine primers. I think that's pretty good. Now for eye primers, I have quite a bunch. I'm just gonna grab them since you can't really see them back here. I have a I have three. I have the original, um, the fair and the white shade of the clear canvas base eyelid primer from Dra Cosmetics. I'm gonna keep all three of these, they're really nice. Um, I have a sample of Huda Beauty's Angel Food Foundation, so I'm going to keep that. I have a little sample of the Pretty Fresh Foundation, which I, I mean, it's in my perfect shade, but I don't need that. I ended up buying the full size from Ulta, so I don't need that, but I'm going to keep it anyways. I'm going to declutter the Skin Food Salmon um, Concealer Corrector. I swatched it for that Korean Beauty video I did, the original one, and I haven't used it since, so I'm just going to declutter that. Um, I have a little sample of the It concealer the it cosmetics concealer if you if you have something like a bruise you need covered up 
or any discoloration, major discoloration. I wouldn't suggest it for under eyes because it's too thick. But let's say you have a blemish or a pimple on the skin. This concealer hides everything the best. It's thick, so I wouldn't use it on the under eyes. Um, this is just a sample that I got from Ulta when I was working there, but it is amazing. So if you ever get like really, really bad breakouts or something, or you have bruises you want to hide, those, that's an amazing concealer for that, really. It's just so good. Okay. Um, other eyelid primers, we have the Kaleidos Tone Activated Eyelid Primer. I'm going to get rid of this one just because I don't ever use it. And it gets kind of messy in the tube, even though I never use it. It's like brand new. I think I use it once or twice. I'm going to keep the Alter Ego Eyelid Primer. You can use porcelain. Use code porcelain if you want to save money off that. I'm going to keep the Shake Primer from KVD. I really wanted to love this. It's so cool. I just don't think I do, but I'm going to keep it. Um, I want to give it some more like testing out with different colors and stuff. And I'm going to keep the Cut Crease Canvas from Makeup Revolution as well. So I got rid of a couple eyelid primers there. Back here, I just have a whole bunch of puffy pads that I need to actually pull out and give to someone who loves those little puffs that come with stuff. And this is just a brush cleaner. Um, also, I have the glitter glue from Too Faced, which I'm going to keep because it's my only glitter glue. This is a little better. This is a little more manageable. Okay, let's move on to foundations now. So for foundations, I love foundation. This is like, I love foundations. So this is hard for me. These are concealers. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is so hard. I am going to, I'm going to declutter the Il Maquillage. It's a great full coverage moment, and I love this formula. It's very, it's very hit or miss. You either love it or you hate it. I love it. Um, this is zero ten. Woke up like this. I never reached for it. Um, I had an original one. I gave it away, and then I got another one. But I just, I don't reach for it. So it's like practically new. I might have used it twice. So I'm gonna part ways with this. I'm also gonna part ways with this Clayvu Urban Pearl. Pearl Station, sorry, I can't see with the lighting. Pearl Station Silkware Lasting Foundation. I was gonna try this out and I never did, but it feels nice and luxurious and looks really nice. So I'm just gonna declutter it since I haven't tried it and I guess I'm not going to get around to it. I need to use this Conceal and Hydrate more. I'm also going, do I really want to? I don't want it to go bad on me. I feel like luminous foundations are more likely to go bad than a long wear one. I don't know if that's true or not. I only have one, it's also from her, one light coverage foundation. So I guess I'll keep this for now. I love these. I'm going to part ways with the Peach Perfect from Too Faced. I maybe used this like six times, which I really liked it at first. But I mean, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There's still a ton of product in here and I'm just not going to use it, so I'm going to get rid of this. It smells great, though. I need to use this more, which I'm not going to declutter because I really like the finish and it has a wand, but it's the Wander Beauty one. I made a lot of room in this drawer already. I'm going to declutter... Yeah, I'm going to declutter the Ofra foundation. I just didn't feel like it wore that well. This is 0 0.25. It oxidizes a little. Um... But I just wasn't my favorite in the world, so I'm going to declutter. I only used it the one time, and if I don't have a good first impression on a foundation, I generally am not going to reach for it again, which is a bad habit for sure. But I made room in this drawer, and I think that's all I'm going to declutter. I really use these. I have two of the Uoma Beauty ones, one slightly darker, one slightly lighter, but I honestly use these so much. Ooh, I love the Bounce Foundation. I have not really reached, I have not really reached for these foundation sticks, the ColourPop one and the Juvia's Place one lately, but if I ever want a foundation stick, they're just super easy to reach for. So yeah, I definitely have room in this foundation drawer now, which makes me excited because I love buying foundations. So yeah, this one's this one. I think that's pretty good. Next drawer is not very exciting. I don't think I'm really gonna do anything from this drawer. It is just setting powders, bronzers, and contours. So my contour palettes here, they all have it pan except for the new Kaleidos one. I have a dark foundation for a found, like a contour stick for me from Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution foundation in the, this stick form, I think it's like the fast base. I've used a whole foundation stick like this twice now from them. So good and affordable. Sometimes you can get on sale for like five bucks. Um, yeah, I don't really think I'm going to get rid of anything. I'm going to get rid of the Wet n Wild Reserve Cabana Bronzer. It's discontinued. I've gone through countless number of these. 
I'm just kind of over it though, so I'm just going to part ways with that. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here. Did I open this? Yeah, I opened this. Oof. And it is a pure white powder, so I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I don't know. This drawer was, there was nothing to declutter. Actually, I'll declutter this Milani bronzer because I probably used it three or four times. I just haven't reached for it at all lately. All right, this drawer is the fun one. I actually don't even know if I need to do the other Alex drawer. Yeah, like the whole Alex drawer unit I have. My other makeup collection, the other side of me, is like primer, I mean, setting setting sprays, lashes, eyeliners. I don't really think I'm gonna go through that, so this will be the last drawer we do today. Um, Cause I'm not really gonna part with any like liquid shadows or anything, because I love them. So this is gonna be a little bit of a harder one for me, cause I love blushes lately and I love highlighters, so. Let's get started. As far as these palettes go, the Gwen Stefani face palette, this Odin's Eye palette, which I need to get more use out of, but I had to repress two of the shades so it kind of bummed me out. And this looks like it's coming apart. Kind of bummed me out, I need to use that more. The Jeffree Star, Star for Brain Freeze. I only use these two shades. The rest of them are like never touched. I think I used this once, but it was blue. So I only ever use these two shades, um, but I don't really reach for it. I'm going to keep it for now just so I don't regret it. Um, the Scott Barnes cheek palette, beautiful. The Lunar Beauty cheek palette, beautiful. The Natasha Denota Bloom, very, very subtle. I just use the powder shades out of this, but really good for a subtle bl glowy blush. Love these little blushes from Cover FX. Ice Cold from Jeffree Star I still use every single day for my inner corner. This is the second one I've gone through and I put pan on it. I use it every single day. I never mention it as my highlight because it's only in my inner corner. I use another highlight for my face. Um, but I still love it to death. <laughs> um, the Kaleidos Duo Blushes. I'm going to declutter this one, the pinky one. I'll keep the more tan one. This is just really light, even for me. So it's cute. I like that you can mix the matte and the shimmery shade. But I'm just going to declutter this one. The Amrizzy Highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The discontinued... Highly sought after shade, I am going to keep for now. Now I'll declutter, I'm just gonna declutter it. I mean, it's really hard, highly sought after, you can't get it anymore, and I barely scratched the surface on this, so it's like new-ish. I'm gonna declutter it, because I know someone else would love this. Okay, I feel good about that, I feel good about that. Because I have a Ofra highlighter that's gold that I love more. And the only from the Brain Freeze palette is gold and works my skin tone. Let's see. I'm gonna keep these two soul body ones from ColourPop. Um, the Steve Laurent liquid, I mean like jelly highlighter, I'm gonna keep for now, it's still wet. We have two Give Me Glow highlighters, which are so pretty, but it is glittery. So I need to like be careful when I wear this, especially the snowy one. These are so glittery, but they're so metallic that I love them. I'm gonna part ways with this Lethal Cosmetics one. I just never reach for this kind of gold shade. This is the shade isotope which i should know and i don't really reach that gold so i'm gonna part ways with that i'm gonna keep these i also have the give me glow highlighter in halo which is beautiful but again glittery but so beautiful it's like this gold i don't know it's hard to see these like sh highlighter shades on camera because like the lights i'm gonna keep the milk cosmetics highlighter as well which i forget about all the time i'm not gonna lie moon spill highlighter 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 love it's very yellow i wish they came out with an icy white shade but look at this packaging it's gorgeous okay here okay uh this juno and co face palette i'm gonna part ways with it i tried the blush and i think i tried the highlighter i meant to use this as a contour but i never got around to trying it and this looks really glittery so i'm just gonna part ways with this one okay as far as glowy highlighters is concerned, I'm going to keep one of these, so I'm going to keep the pinkier one, so I'm going to keep Wednesdays from Pixie, and I'm going to get rid of Fetch. This is the one I got originally anyways, and this is one I was like, oh, I really like this one, I'm going to get this one, and I might have used it once. So obviously I didn't love it as much as I love this one. OMFG Cosmetics, I'm going to keep both of these. I have two highlighters and a Neapolitan. Which, this side seems too dark for me, but I mix it with everything else. It looks fine. And then I think we have Cinderella. Oh, Playdate. Playdate, which fell out of the pan. So, yeah. I have two of these. I'm going to keep these. I just like having tons of highlighters. That smelled really good when I closed it, too. 
I don't know if they're scented, but it smelled really good. So here are four blushes from ColourPop. I'm going to keep two, so I'm just going to open them all up because I don't need them all. And none of them are like super dewy, which I'm really into lately. So I'm just going to keep two of these. They're only $8, so I keep ended up ordering them. Like when I place an order, I'll order like an older one. Doesn't even matter anymore. Oh gosh. They're hard to open though. That's the only thing. Like this one, easy to open little square ones. But these little clamshells, hard. Okay, so I have like two bronzier shades and two pinkier ones. I'm going to keep this lighter pink one which is called Catch My Vibe, and keep this one. And then I am going to keep, hmm. Hmm. So I can declutter this one. I don't care about this brown one, Crossroads, which I did wear on Instagram. So I wore it once and it was very cute. Hmm. And I'm going to keep, I don't love either. I don't love any of these. So I'm going to clutter both of them. Well, actually, I'll keep this one for now. I'll keep the orangey one for now. The coral one because it just came out. Um, I'm going to declutter the wild nothing one. Okay. That was hard. This pixie palette I haven't really got to use yet. So I'm going to keep this for now too. I haven't really. I keep forgetting to use it. So I should put it up here. There. Well, I have another OMFG Cosmetics one. This one is Cinderella. And I'm just going to put it with the other ones. Actually, I'll declutter Neapolitan because I think I used it once. And I liked how it looked because I mixed all the colors together, but it wasn't like my favorite thing in the world. And I don't need that many highlighters. Here's where the tricky part comes in. Back there is just Jeffree Star's Extreme Frost Supreme Frost um, and like his Eclipse highlighter with Manny Liquid Frost and one Becca Liquid Highlighter. So there's nothing fun back there. And this is a jelly highlighter from ColourPop's Candy Lane collection. But this front section is a lot of Ofra, and I love Ofra, and I have them in a specific order where I know where they are. So this is my favorite one, Pillow Talk, which I wore today. Glazed Donut. I don't know if I'm going to declutter any Ofra, like seriously. Um, this, oh, actually, I can, uh, I can declutter this one, but it's, I had to repress it, so I don't know if anybody's going to want it. Yeah, I'm going to declutter this one. It's Snuggle Up Duo. The blush in it's really cute, but it's just, I don't know. I never reached for it. I use like, you, like separate blushes and highlighters usually. This one is Star Island. More subtle for them, but it's more of like kind of slightly gold shade. This is the Start Inspired with Samantha March. Love this one, which is Pillow Talk and the Star Island one combined. And then lastly, we have Space Baby from, oh, Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine from Making Tutorials. I haven't used this, so I'm going to declutter it. It's just, it's so pink, so it can go. Okay, so I only kept four Ofra normal highlighters that I love. This one is the bronzer. No, this is the blush, I believe. Yeah, this is like a blush duo. I'm going to keep this as well, but I need to keep it separate from the highlighters because I will forget. Um, I do have two Ofra face palettes. So I have this one, which is my favorite one. It is Y2K, which has just really pretty. It's Pillow Talk, Space Baby, and Star Island in it, which is so pretty. So I don't need the full size of uh, Space Baby. This is blue one is the other Naked Tutorials one. I just got rid of the pink one. I'm going to keep the Y2K and I might get rid of the Sweet Electric because it's just not my favorite. It's just too bronzy. So I did have to repress this little corner of this one, but mostly it's still intact. So I'm going to part ways with this, but the blush color looks so pretty. That's what it is. And Ofra always, if you use code Ofra30 on their website, it saves you 30%, which is so good to know all the time. So I'm going to put these like that so it separates. So you can't even see. I put that. In. So, um... There's not much left in here. I have a couple Laura Mercier blushes. They're super cute. This one is strawberry, I think. Yeah, strawberry. This one is fresco, which is like super tan, but really subtle and pretty and really glowy. This one's rose, which is one I've used the most, but you can't tell. It looks brand new. And I'm going to part ways with strawberry from these. Yeah, I'm going to part ways with strawberry from those because I don't need that many pinks. Because the pink I'm keeping, which is bright pink, is this one, which is Obsessed from Urban Decay. And I also have Fetish from Urban Decay, which is super cute and mauve So I'm going to keep those. I have like four baby highlighters now. Nothing compares to my love for these Ofra highlighters in this drawer at all. It's just 
They're so pretty. I have two colitis, which I'm going to keep. There's a yellow one and a peachy one. I'm going to keep these highlighters from them. I have this Patrick Ta blush, which is kind of growing on me a little bit. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't really know how I feel about this. It's very pretty, but very subtle. I haven't used the cream side yet, which I'm kind of excited and nervous to do. This Lovecraft Beauty highlighter came in an Ipsy, I believe. Duo, I'm going to just declutter it. Clean it up, declutter. I think I used it once. All right. That was this drawer, and I think that's all we're going to do today. Because, again, I don't need to go over my eyeliners and my lashes or my setting sprays. I feel like those are pretty good. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit of a longer one. Maybe I can cut it down a little bit in editing. I'm not sure. But, thank you guys for watching. And this is all this stuff. Ooh, that's a lot that I decluttered. So, that's pretty good.